Some of the misconceptions are that the men and women in the industry are genuinely happy. That I've heard things like uh, from other men that say that the men in the industry are basically living out every man's dream, right? Or that, you know, the women are genuinely orgasming every scene and they're enjoying everything that they see. But I think what people fail to realize is that these people are paid actors and actresses um, just because you see them enjoying something on film. Like you don't see the tears that were maybe shed afterwards. You don't see the bruises all over the woman's body after an abusive scene and her crying and feeling like if she hadn't done the scene, she wouldn't have gotten her paycheck. Um, most people don't see the brokenness behind it. They see the pretend smiles. And I think that people believe that lie because as a performer, when you're in the industry, you have to pretend that it is empowering and that you love what you do. Because if you don't act that way, then nobody's gonna hire you because they don't wanna be responsible for you and they don't wanna bring you know your, your negativity to their set. So they, they only work with people who stay in performance 24-7. I think that it's kind of hard for people to believe that like uh, a former porn star can have their lives, like they can evolve from that. I have one friend in particular that did some scenes that she's really um, ashamed of and um, people have thrown those in her face for many years and people don't believe that she's actually evolved and that she's not the woman that she once was. Um, and I know that that's really, really hard for her. And it's, al it's almost like people have seen you do things on camera and they think that that's forever who you are. And I think that a lot of times people will wanna label the woman, they'll say, oh, she's a hoe or she's a slut. And that, that's always with her. But sometimes people unfortunately make what's a permanent decision in a temporary place. And so the permanent decision is that you've done porn your films are out on the internet forever, that's the permanent decision, but you were just in a temporary season of brokenness and people think that you can't evolve from that. If somebody wants to leave the industry, there's gonna be plenty of challenges. One of the biggest ones that I see is, how am I going to afford my lifestyle? And the reality is, if you are leaving the porn industry, you are probably not going to be able to afford your current lifestyle. Um, another battle is, uh, who's ever gonna hire me? And that's a legitimate concern. That is a really big concern because you see, you know, teachers getting fired for posting lingerie photos. And so it's like, well, I've done everything and mine's all over the internet. How am I going to find a job? Um, and so there's all different kinds of battles. A lot of women are already addicted to drugs. So it's like, well, if I quit porn, I have to also figure out how I can get sober so I can get a normal job. There, there's many challenges that you can face, but I'm grateful that I've paved the way and me and amongst other people, we've paved the way and we're living proof that you can get out of the porn industry if you do want to get out.